Hey, Cookaholic Chef Kendra here. And today we're making Supergirl ice cream. My absolutely favorite show in the Arrowverse is sadly coming up on its third season final episode. And I wanted to go out in style. So let's do what we do and make it happen. We have milk, heavy whipping cream, sugar, eggs, lemon extract, vanilla extract, salt, cornstarch, cardamom, light corn syrup, and we have our food colorings here which is red, yellow, and blue. We're gonna start by putting the sugar in this bowl. Cardamom. Cornstarch. And the salt. And whisk this stuff together. I base my Supergirl ice cream off of Superman ice cream that from what I read originated in Michigan. I believe it actually to be blue moon ice cream with the House of L colors, red, blue, and yellow. My uncle owned the ice cream shop in Michigan and trucks and he sold this concoction in his shop. I used to love it when my mom took us by there and we get free ice cream. I always ask for Superman ice cream. I love the stuff. My older cousin drove one of the trucks sometimes and I'd ride along. Man, good times. Never trust anybody who doesn't love ice cream. Come on, man. All right, we're gonna set this aside. Now we're separating some yolks. Melissa Minoise, who plays Supergirl, can act her butt off. I've seen her in everything from Glee to Sundogs, which is an excellent movie, by the way. You can see that movie on Netflix. She's currently crushing the game on Broadway this summer in a leading role in the musical Beautiful, the Carol King musical. So if you can go check it out, now I'm gonna whisk these eggs yolks up a little bit, guys. Not much, just a little bit. Set that aside. I have a large bowl here. I'm gonna add the milk to it. Some heavy whipping cream. This is also heavy whipping cream. It all goes in there, just like so. Now the eggs go in, the egg yolks. Vanilla extract. This is the light corn syrup, it goes in. This helps the ice cream not crystallize. You don't want crystals in your ice cream, guys. Now this is lemon extract that goes in. And the last thing that goes in is our sugar, our cardamom, our salt mixture we have here. Also cornstarch a little bit. I'm just gonna whisk this. Hey, you can find this and other fine recipes at chefkendra.weebly.com. That's chefkendra.weebly.com. You know I got you. Little sugar storm. Now, our next step is to put this bowl in the microwave for 30 seconds. We're gonna whisk it again. Put it back in for 30 seconds. Whisk it again. Put it back in for 30 seconds. Whisk it again. What we're trying to do is make sure we cook the rawness out of the eggs and we want our sugar dissolved. Now we're gonna take our ice cream base and strain it into this bowl. You wanna make sure you do this step because you wanna make sure you get egg bits out of your bowl. Strain it again by putting it over here like that. Coming back, doing it again. Now that we have our ice cream base mixed, cooked, strained, and in this bowl, 
we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for three hours so we can make some really good ice cream. Then we'll get to the fun part where we color the ice cream. But we have to make the ice cream first, then we're gonna color it. But I wanna point out, you can color it now. Take it, split it into three bowls, add food coloring to each bowl to get the desired color you want. And then you can freeze the ice cream. When you make actually make the ice cream with the ice cream maker, you can make it in three batches of those colors and then swirl the colors together. Or you can do it the way I'm doing it. I'm gonna make the ice cream first in one batch, split up the ice cream, then add the food coloring. It's up to you, it's your kitchen, do what you want. into the refrigerator for three hours. This is my trusty ice cream maker. This is my two quart frozen yogurt, sherbet and ice cream maker by Cuisinart. I've had it for, wow, what, 15 years or so? Anyway, if you want one or one similar, there'll be a link in the description below. Now, I'm gonna get my ice cream, get the bowl, I'm gonna get this ice cream churn. Now, this bowl stays in the freezer, very cold. Put it inside, just like that. And now, I'm gonna get the base. This is where we are. We have our ice cream base, it's nice and cold. We have our ice cream maker, we have the ice cream maker bowl, we have this part, the paddle that goes inside, and we have the top. So, really simple. We pull this off. We get our base into the maker. So this goes back into the refrigerator until this one turns. Then we're going to turn this one. Got it? Pretty simple. We have this in here. We put on the top, just like that. Turn it on. I'm gonna turn it off. It doesn't have a timer on here, so follow the directions, but I usually let it go for 20, 25 minutes. I'll know when it comes up close to the top and then it's really, really creamy. Nice and creamy. Now I'm gonna put this ice cream in a bowl, churn the rest of it, and then while I'm churning the rest of it, this will be in the freezer. Now, if you don't like using food color, this ice cream is delicious. You don't have to use the food color. I'm gonna scoop some ice cream in each bowl. These two bowls go back in the freezer while we work on that bowl. We're gonna start out with red. Now, I don't know how much you're gonna need because truth is, each brand of this stuff has different amounts that you would need to make the color vibrant. And last but not least, yellow. Get it back in the freezer. Let them all get a little more solid. There we go. Now we're gonna mix the colors, guys. And put all the colors in one bowl. them somewhat. Now don't go crazy because they will turn gray. Okay. That's 
what we got. Now we're gonna get it back in the freezer. Supergirl has been renewed for a fourth season and I'm excited to see how they play it. Yo, thanks for watching, share my videos, and if you haven't already, subscribe. That's all for this time. I'll see you next time. Chef Kendra is out. Peace. Enjoy the ice cream.